Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Welcome back to another stream and another uh, another little one-off special to start this new year off with a little bit of this, uh, oh, what is it, that humongous entertainment classic collection. <laughs> How's everyone doing today? We're doing, uh, we're gonna do some Freddy Fish and we're gonna do some Spy Fox, just a, just a round of this entire thing off. Also, why is the YouTube thing over there looking so weird? Wait, what's up? <laughs> what's up with that? Let's just refresh that, see if it fixes it. Like it's glitching up. Nothing on your guys' side, just it's all on my side. Yeah, that's better. I don't know, that was that was <laughs> looking weird. Like the entire uh, video preview thing was was just blacked out, like, huh? Hold up. <laughs> it wasn't like that whenever I went over there to uh to to, 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 to tweet about it. But yeah, yeah, either way, either way. Welcome on in, yo kaiju, brother Doom, Nova Phoenix, and Emiliano. How you all doing today? Glad to see you. Thanks for stopping on. Bye. Yeah, I think I think today would be a good day. Yeah, I wasn't planning on streaming today, but considering yesterday, yesterday we went through and we played uh, Pajama Sam. Oh, well, that's kind of loud, actually. We played Pajama Sam, No Need to Hide When It's Dark Outside. And then we beat that like in an hour and 30, right? And so I was like, all right, you know what? Let's just go ahead and play Putt-Putt Saves the Zoo in a new stream. And that took like 30 minutes. <laughs> so I was like, all right, you know what? We'll play Putt-Putt's Travels Through Time as well. Which, funny enough, these Putt-Putt games, they actually got, uh, they, they got copyright. <laughs> so, all right, whatever. It wasn't anything major. It's just the audio was uh, apparently copyright. No, no effect on my channel, no, uh, hidden among territories or things like that so we're fine i'm just gonna leave it alone but yeah so i was like we, we've done a pajama sam we've done some putt putt we may as well do these two spy fox and freddy fish to finish off the uh to, to finish off this collection do at least one of uh, all of these games right i mean there are a couple more of these pajama sam ones but uh i'm not too worried about playing all of them um but yeah so so today we're gonna just do a special little uh, one-off stream just uh, a little bit of a gorilla one, considering <laughs> I'm not, uh, I, I wasn't planning to do this, but Spy Fox in particular, I really liked Spy Fox, I'm excited to get into that. And Freddy Fish is just a classic, so yeah, let's get on into that. Let's get on into that. Time with the fishes, but without the fishing, you know it, Nova. Uh, I changed my profile picture yesterday, nice Emiliano. I, is that from Ratchet and Clank? Looks like uh, some, of the, some of the characters you'd see from that. But yeah, the copyright music, you gotta love it. Yeah, gotta love it. Speaking of music, the uh, I can go ahead and mute that audio source. Bring this audio source back, because uh, we're about to get some audio, baby. Let's get in there. Let's go. Oh, yeah. I also got a... <sighs> yo, yo, yo! All right, there we go. There we go. I think the character from uh, Crash Bandicoot 4. Oh, is that... Are you enjoying the flight on yeah, that makes sense, airlines, Freddy. A lot. Pelican Daddy. Airlines? Wow. It's just like oh, Animal, Animal Sugar, Crossing. It was really great of your Uncle Blenny to invite us to the Founders Day Festival. Luther. Well, Uncle Blenny says that I'm his favorite nephew. Oh, and it's, you uh, know Coco I Bandicoot? Oh, ah, okay. Trip like this without my best friend, Freddy I haven't played a lot of, uh, Crash Bandicoot games. I never got too big into the Crash Bandicoot series. I like the, uh, like the spin off ones, but not so much the, uh, the regular ones. The Freddy Fish in the Stolen Shell. I thought this was like the case of the Stolen Conch Shell. This has such a longer title to it. Oh, well, whatever. But yeah, like, uh... Landing. Well, for us it was, at least. This dude. Look at this dude. Yeah. Have a good time. Oh, you know it. You know it. I don't trust that giant chin that he's got, though. Like, what the, what the heck's up with that? <laughs> But yeah, just in case you haven't uh, realized, these humongous entertainment games are extremely, uh, a lot like kid-friendly. They are games that I played way back when, like as soon as I had physical control of my hands and was able to play video games. These were the games that I was playing literally 27 years ago. <laughs> 
probably closer to like 25 years considering I was probably like two years old whenever I was able to hold things and like understand that buttons do things. So uh, yeah, about 25 years ago I was playing these type of games and uh, it's quite interesting, very point and click. Around the world, day, around the world. Really come in handy. Right as rain, Freddy, it's all yours. As soon as you give me one orange sea urchin, that is. <laughs> An orange sea urchin. All right, fine. But yeah, if, if you've ever played any of these, like old school, like Monkey Island or even like the Leisure Suit Larry games, it's very similar to that. Where it's just you got a, a, an inventory down here of all your crap, and then you've got a uh, you just point and click about where you got to go. Like if you want to go down in the sea, you want to go left or right, you want to talk to somebody. So yeah, real simple stuff, but I mean, these games are really good for, like, learning mouse control and, and like, keyboard control at, at a young age. So yeah, that was cool. That was cool. We'll get Crush Bandicoot uh, 4 on PlayStation 5 someday. That's a nice goal to have. We should probably try it out at some point in time. I, I don't know, I'm just not big into them. I, uh, I, I have played a, a few of those Crush Bandicoot games, but... That looks like something expensive. Right, I want it. Yikes! Luther, no! I almost lost a pin. That would have been terrible. That again. Come on, do it. Come on, do it. Come on, do it. Come on, do it. Clam from snapping shut. All right, sure. But uh, I played Uncharted 4, and in that game, there actually was a point where you was able to play Crush Bandicoot, <laughs> which was pretty funny. That was pretty funny. But uh, I think that's the last time that I played a Crush Bandicoot game. Uh, it, the, the, my favorite one, though, uh, the uh, the Crash Bandicoot game that I played a lot of would would be the um, uh, Crash Bandicoot Tag Team Racing on the GameCube. That one was a lot of fun, but it's also not really a Crash Bandicoot game. It just got Crash Bandicoot characters, right? Hmm. I wonder what will happen if I pull this plug. That's what I was wondering too. That's why I clicked it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Nice. Look at that. Gravity. Great job. I knew you could pull it off. I got it. I got it. No, try it again. What, oh, this thing? Okay, yeah. All right. You, you, you're right, There's dude. Gotta you're right. There's got to be something that can keep a clam from clamming up. I just wish I... Okay. All right. Can I take the, 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 the plug? Oh, I can't take the plug. Hey, look at that. I had better hold on to this. Professional you gamer just instincts. You never know when a drain plug might come in handy. Exactly. Professional gamer instincts right there. You see something, you take the thing. Also, yeah, these games are very, like, randomly generated. Or not, like, like randomly generated is not the correct word. It's just there's uh, multiple, like, routes you can go down. Like, depending on uh, whenever you load up the game, different events will, like, load up. You, you get a different seed, basically. And so, uh, things that happen that, that I'm doing aren't necessarily what you have to do to get the, the like, cannon. I do remember this one now. Luther, I wasn't remembering buddy, it at first, but now I do. Here. Uncle Blanny? Blanny. Blanny. Uncle Blanny, what are you doing in jail? Mm, donuts well, and coffee. Well, the great conch shell was stolen. The Founder's Day Festival can't start without it. Since I'm the grand exalted keeper of the conch, I'm the prime suspect. Would it really but be stealing if you it. are the keeper Here, of the conch shell? Here's a diagram of the conch shell before it was taken. I don't know about that the one, priceless Chief. priceless conch had three golden pipes, but they may huh. have fallen out. And here's a picture of all the people who were nearby when the crime happened. There's Gil Barker, Claw, Nadine the Narwhal, Rosie Pearl, Pierre the Tailor, and Horse Fetters the Tourist. <laughs> all right, sure. Who done it? Who Answer done it? Out the thief? Old soggy sniffer ain't what it used to be. But if he Aww. can get the three golden pipes, he can pick up the scent. We'll find the three golden pipes, Uncle Blanny. How long do you guys practice my that? Only hope, nephew. You and your friend Freddy Fish. All right then. Now, so you see the putt putt in the background. <laughs> I feel like putt putt is the uh, like like the poster child of these humongous entertainment games. But, uh, honestly speaking, I didn't like him as much. Like, the, uh, the, the Pajama Sam one. I, I really liked that one. And, and Spy Fox. I remember liking that one a lot whenever I was a kid. But, uh, you know. Coffee. Donuts. Alright. The heck is this? Joe the Perch. 
Can I like make a... Oh, look at that. I can make my own fish guy. Sure. Sure, whatever. <laughs> what about this? Oh, it's like the wanted... Uh, this is the wanted poster of the year or whatever. The uh, uh, most wanted inmate of the month. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Moving on. But yeah, so now we know about that one thing over there we need to get. Also, this looks very... Oh, if only I, Pierre, had the perfect yeah. accessory for my hat, mon chapeau. What's mon wrong chapeau. with the egg that's on it? The egg? It is too roly-poly. Mm. But I suppose it will have to do. Unless, of course, I could get the perfect accessory. The perfect. Pale Joey Bird feather. That would look beautiful, Pierre. I'm sure it would. And you're you're a wanted criminal now, aren't you? I think that's our uncle. Okay, never mind. It's something else. Oh, hell, the magic conch! Right, right. Yes, leave it to us, uncle. We will go and uh, we'll find all those things. We just need to get like a stick or something. For that one. Alright. Where else have we got? Hey, we got a, an urchin. I spy with my little eye oh, something beginning with a P. Can you guess what it is? Uh... Hmm. It's a purple sea urchin. <laughs> okay, I was wondering. I was like, like, what Good is that? Work, I couldn't tell if that was a pink or a purple <laughs> sea urchin, but yeah. Especially when you said P, I was like, it's just an urchin, man. Why you got to be all complicated about it? <laughs> oh my! Look at that. No one else do we got? This away. This away. Or we will get the magic conch shell if it's the last thing we do. Oh, look, another one. I guess I gotta collect look, a bunch of these. <coughs> I'm guessing we need a bunch of these things for something. Freddy, how come there are no pink polka dotted sea urchins? But there are. They live in the secret sea where everything is pink and polka dotted. That sounds like hell, to be honest with you. You just made that up, didn't you? Uh huh. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of, uh, polka dots. Look, Freddy, there's something behind that waterfall. Can we... Wait! <laughs> nice. I was wondering, can we, like, just swim underneath of the waterfall, though? Like... Wouldn't that technically work? That knocked the wind out of me. Me too. We're just gonna have to find another way to get to that waterfall. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like it'd be a good thing to get the wind knocked out of you. You know, Freddy, considering you're a fish. But oh well. Like can, we, can we break it? And it seems to be stuck in the mud. Well, it's not that hard. You can get it. I believe in you. What's up, succulents? How you doing today? Glad to see you. Thanks for stopping on by. Good morning, Lansu. Uh, yeah, I right. just wanted to check something real quick. We're good. Alright, so I need some way to, de to defeat the mud. And we got an envelope of nonsense. Gonna go? Yeah, alright, I can go this way. One of the things about this game is that it's kind of confusing about where you gotta go. Because sometimes it doesn't, it's not, like that hey, area didn't look Luther, super Do you see goable. what I see? Purple Sea Urchin! Purple Sea Urchin, let's go! Let's go! I don't know what these things are useful for, but hey, you know, whatever. Hey, monkey, how you doing? So, what do you got these up to? We have to find a stolen conch shell and get my Uncle Blenny out of jail. Mm -hmm. Sounds like you've got your hands full. Mm -hmm. Good luck. Or at least our, uh, name's Magenta. Flippers. I'm Luther, and this is Freddy Fish. <laughs> I, I don't know, is something about, like, Luther here? His little, just his little, like, black dots of eyes. They're very adorable. Uh... Banana. Grapes. Yeah, sure. Pineapple. That's not how pineapples work. Ties. Yeah, that is absolutely how ties work. <laughs> Anything else? I feel like I remember something about... I feel like I remember something about this. Like, if you keep interacting with the bananas. Yum. Yum. I feel like there's one of them that was, like, really weird. Yeah, there we go. There we go. I don't know why I remembered that, but I, I did remember that. Uh, down? I don't, think, I don't know if there's anything else for me to do here, so... Yeah. 
But now we know that there is a monkey on shore over that way. So, there's that, I guess. <laughs> <coughs> this way now, back to the propellers. Hey, it's the tourist. He's, uh... Aye. Aye. Nice. He can't speak English. He can't speak fish English. Look, there's a freaking plane over there. Alright, so it's a, a half blue, half red, and like a like a whale or something. Alright. Uh, Mr. Tourist, sir. I think we're going to have to figure out how we can talk to each other. Yeah, not, uh, not like this. <laughs> That, yeah, yeah, right, yeah, yeah, that's how telescopes work. Yep, totally. Volcano! Volcano! <laughs> you never know what you're gonna get whenever you uh, click on anything in, in these games. Yeah, yeah, sure, why not? Wallet! Give me a wallet! Hey, look! There are loads of orange sea urchins in this wallet! Hey, I need one of those. Finders this keepers. Doesn't belong to us, little thug. It does now. According to this picture, it belongs to a needlefish with a long, pointy nose, a mustache, and a couple of hairs on his head. I'll hold on to it until we can find the owner. Finders keepers, losers weepers. I also don't know who that would be. Hey, it's a crab dude. Hey, get out of the bullies club. Bullies club, man. Eh? Well, look at what we got here: a little green squirt. And little goody two fins. Yep, it's me, hi. Hey, I have more than two fins. Alright then. <laughs> Alright then. I have a rocket ship. Rockets. I don't think there's anything in here that's worth my time, though. So, yeah. Later, crab dude. Later. Thankfully, this game does have a, uh, a skip button. So, after we went places, we can just kind of teleport. We can just kind of go. Uh. All right, shark do. Right up, gills and buoys for the most amazing. Gills and buoys. You remember the terrific tumble tooth ride last year? Nope. Well, what we've got in store for you this year is even better. Cool. What's this mirror? Hmm. No. Nice, nice. Need me a mirror that's that, that's like that. When I look into it, I'm like, oh yeah, my gains, bro. I got so many gains. Hurry, hurry, guppies and gars, ladies and germs, <laughs> step right up to Gil Barker's world famous floating fun. Just four purple sea urchins get you inside. Oh, I need one That's more. Right. If you've got four purple sea urchins. Okay, all right, I get it. Four, four purples. Oh my God, say that five times fast. Four purple wow, sea urchins. Grandma Grouper fortune teller machine. I've heard about these. Yeah. Uh, I see my fourth purple sea urchin. So, uh, yeah. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Look, Freddy. I found a purple sea urchin. Now we can play Let's games. Over here, and I'll hang on to it for later. Hopefully we can just. Good work, Luther. Hopefully we don't have to pay another four if we fail. Whatever's going on. <laughs> hey, it's Spy Fox. Nice. We'll be seeing that guy sooner. We'll be seeing that guy sooner rather than later. It's gonna be uh, after we get done with this game. I feel like we'll definitely have time to go through that one. So. Yeah, that's what the thumbnail there made. Waits just around the corner. Whoops, that's happiness. Ah, I was like, what? What? What fish is hairy? I don't know what a hairy fish is. Oh, I remember this thing. I remember they this. brought a carnival organ in for the Founders Day festival. I love music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah, it's all of that. And then, okay, it's easy enough to, yeah, easy enough to see what we're doing with this, but I don't see if there's any reason to do that. Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Easy enough. There are nine drum rhythms we can play. Wow. Let's do number five and then leave because I don't think I actually have any reason to be in there. I think at, I think one of the randomly generated things is one of those conch shell horn things. I think you can have one of those stuck in there and you have to like knock them all the way down. But uh, yeah, it doesn't seem like it's the time we gotta we, we don't gotta use it this time. Either way. Here's 
here's a purple sphere. Really? One at a time? Alright. You just, just, hey, take. Another. Take. I guess, uh, yeah, it is just like one and done though, huh? Do you imagine how annoying it would be if somebody gave you, like, counted out, like, you go to the grocery store there and you're like, yeah, I'll buy this, uh, I, I don't know, like, I'll, I'll buy, I'll buy this, this little, like, this, um, uh, you know, pack of candy bars. It's like, all right, that's that's five bucks, and you're like, okay, one dollar. Here's two dollars. Here's three. Or like, oh my Here's god, I, I don't get paid enough to deal with this. Our last purple sea urchin. Four purple sea urchins, precisely the price of admission. Uh huh. And fortunately for you too, we're having a special. For every little yellow fish that pays admission, a little green fish gets in absolutely free. How lucky. Boy, did I ever hit this on the right day? <laughs> All right, what do we got in here then? What do we got in here? Flip the critters up the wall. Oh. When enough of the same critters touch each other, they'll go away. If you use all the critters in the tube, you'll advance to a new level. A brand uh, new level. Out. When the critters move above the bar, they won't go away. All right. Is there any reason for me to actually be doing this? What? Oh, okay. You just click it like this. It's like a very weird version of Tetris. Narahodo. So, yeah. Uh, is it three? How many? Oh, that was a little too early. There we go. Hey, I did it! I did it, the thing! I'm so good at the video games. I'm so good at them! I wasn't prepared, though. I don't know if there's any reason for me to be doing this, though. Like, I, I paid to get in, so I want to see what I can do. But at the same time, <laughs> oh no, I messed up. I messed that one up. Up you go. Uh, I need to go like this now. And then crab, crab. Oh, I totally messed this up. <laughs> I'm messing up in a children's video game. How, how pro gamer of me. Oh, that worked. Interesting. Bro, I have not seen a single yellow one in a long time. All right, throw that one. Uh, yeah, apparently you don't have to throw them in a, um, in an order. Like, it doesn't have to be four in a row. But this is actually getting kind of fast. This is getting kind of fast. It's very simple, but, uh, that little down there at the bottom is getting a little, a little quick. Not that it really matters. Because, I mean, you can, you can throw this whenever you want to. It's probably would be a better idea to, like, throw them away in like like a, a space apart, so you have a little bit of uh, a little bit of time to react. But I mean, do we really need to get that good at, at a game like this? I um, when when is game over? <laughs> when is is the game over? Because I don't necessarily want to be playing this anymore. Just saying. All right, you know what? I I, I think we're good. I, I don't know what the point of that was. We paid four sea urchins for a mini game. I guess something probably could have spawned there, but didn't. Hey, look, a shovel. I need that for the mud thing, probably. Look, Luther, a plastic shovel. We could use it to dig a hole all the way to the other side of the world. I've tried Whatever to do that. You say, Luther. I've tried to do that. I feel like that's something that like most children have done, especially if you live in like the country. You definitely have taken a shovel and just started digging and tried to get to the other side of the world. I remember one time, like I was digging. It wasn't even that far. Like, I think I dug down, like, it was probably, like, maybe six feet. No, not six feet. Six inches. It was, it was probably, like, six inches that I dug down. And, uh, I hit rock, right? I, I, hit, I hit some rock, and I was like, bro, this is, like, the, the, the core of the earth right here. <laughs> I was, like, three or four years old, so it was like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, totally. So do you think that a narwhal and a little green fish can find happiness together? Nope. <laughs> little weird, that one. Little weird, that. Alright. Oh, I remember something about this. Yeah. Gee, that fish looks like it's really hungry. Yeah, that fish looks like it's really hungry. Yeah, it's a really simple one. Look at that. We now can go in there. Look, Luther, the doorway's clear. Swell. Swell. Look, what's this thing? Oh no. I'm a little fish who's always swimming too. Okay, nope, uh, nope, nope. I'm, I'm not dealing with that. Don't. Gotcha. These are all songs. 
Understood. Uh, it makes sense because it's a musical note, but like, I was kind of hoping there was going to be something in there. <laughs> hey, there we go. We got we got some sort of conch shell thing. What am I looking at though? Uh. Hi. So that I can smooth her in there. <laughs> that was not what I was wanting. This just open that too. Oh, there's bubbles in there. So that's probably what we need to do then, huh? Banzai! Grab it, Luther, grab it, grab it! Hey, that's my boy! And now we're like a third of the way done. Good job, Luther! Good job! Now we need just two more golden pipes for. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, look at this. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows my sorrow. Nice. Nobody knows. Jeez, I wonder how many golden pipes Freddy and Luther have now. One. I sure hope you're right. Go. <laughs> All right, sure. We we interrupt your regularly scheduled broadcast for this special message from Downtown Prison. I also like how that narwhal there, that that very happy-looking narwhal, could potentially be a murderer. Seems about right. Seems about right. Uh, is this wall belong to this guy? He said hairs, and a pointy nose, right? Is that the wallet of Pierre in your fin? I think so. Yeah, ah, my beautiful one-of-a-kind wallet. Here's something from the great Pierre just for you. Just one orange urchin? Just one. Luther, don't be greedy. Thank you, Pierre. Thank you. That's all we need, though. We got the one urchin. I'm gonna go over here to this guy. Uh... I'm gonna use the shovel for that as well, but... I remember... This guy for the book, right? Hey, you! Would you like to sell that foreign language phrase book for one orange sea urchin? One there? orange sea urchin. But an orange sea urchin will do. I was about to say, like, bruh, you said you said it was a one one sea urchin. That's all you needed. Thanks a lot, Sam. We'll put this Sam. To good use. I I guess. It's a foreign language phrase book. Ah, I see. It's for that one guy then. <laughs> Flamingos. Right, I think we're done with this little section then. Can I? This plastic shovel isn't strong enough to keep the clam from clamming up. That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, well, we got a foreign language book, so... Yeah, this guy. Freddy, I can't understand a word that foreign tourist is saying. Yeah. Maybe we can find the language he's speaking in. That, that is what I was trying to do. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it even shows you, like, the language there. Uh, this one. There's a lot of the languages that look the exact friggin' same. Alright. May we please have the Shim Shem Jimmy Jam Clapper Gapper that's in your bag? Hmm. So, the Shim Shem Jimmy Jam Clapper Gapper that's been giving horse feathers so much trouble is what you want? I'd be glad to give you to it. If only you could, like, speak the language that well. Like, I mean, I understand a lot of, uh, well, like Japanese words, right? But <laughs> thank you, Mr. Feather. Sir. It ain't that easy. It ain't that easy. Uh, you, you, your your punctuation, your pronunciation of everything doesn't quite work that well with with just one little translation. All right, but uh, that's probably for this thing, then, right? A shim sham jimmy jam clapper gapper. Shim sham jimmy jam clapper gapper. Shim sham jimmy jam clapper gapper. Okay, Luther. Okay. I'm gonna need your help. I need more coffee. That's right what I need. Freddy. <laughs> Open. I got a golden pipe. It's all we need. I don't care what anyone else says. You're a good fish. Hey. What's that supposed all to mean? We need. Yeah, 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 yeah. All we need is one is more. Is it true that we're not going to have a <laughs> festival? Is it, Mommy? Gee, I hope they can find a comp show so we can have a festival. I've waited all year. I like how they're trying to guilt trip us into finishing off the game with that one. 
Like, are they going to do it? I sure hope they do it. I've been waiting for so long. Alright, uh, this thing and this thing, right? I don't know what's on hey, the other Nana, side of this, but how sure. How dig out this old hollow log and pull it into the water? Okie dokie. Kind of what I've been thinking this entire time, to be honest with you. But yeah, like... The, just, nice. Buff fish hours. Yeah, we need, uh... One more, and I haven't seen it yet, so probably here, right? All right. Come on, Luther. Help me push this log. Well, I'm not pushy by nature, but in this case, I'll make an exception. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. We can just keep the log moving. We'll be home free. Then let's chatty more pushy. Uh, just a little further, and we'll have this log in position. Let's chatty more pushy. Uh, there we go. Yeah, I feel like that wouldn't really work out that well. I just had a brainstorm. Did you? old hollow log might help us get through the waterfall. <laughs> Is that we why we did it? having brainstorms on a more regular basis. <laughs> Head pats. Head pats. Wait, I don't think that would actually work out too well. But what do I know? Hey, there it is. There's the last one. Oh, we need a, uh... Well, that was easy enough, I guess. <laughs> that was easy enough. We need... Luther, I think we need to find something else for that blue-tailed joey bird to cuddle with. If we want to get that golden pipe. Mm. Well, we needed his feather for that Luther, egg, and then I guess we need the egg for him. Joey bird. How convenient for us, though, huh? <laughs> Ready? <laughs> so long as we got it, oh well. Ay, ay, ay. Good job, Luther. Good job. What's in here? I see there's like an arrow point down here, so like, what do we got? Oh, I do remember this. There's like a whole freaking show going on. Eh, it's this lady. Hi, folks, and welcome to the world famous Blue Owl Show. Where we bring you everything from the dramatic to the acrobatic, and it's all 100% aquatic. So now, ladies, mm. gentlefish, and guppies, prepare to be amused and amazed. Give me a show. Give me a show. What do you got? Oh, hi. You're sitting right next to us, huh? You, uh... Kebab. Ooh. Nice. Hey, let's make some noise out there. All right, I'll make some noise by leaving. <laughs> what a great show! What a great show! The guy juggled some fruit, and then it got stuck on his nose, and then that guy cooked the things off his nose. Amazing, riveting. All right, anyway, we, hey, dude, we got a feather. I am Pierre Zatella. Zatella. Pierre, Hi. we found a beautiful blue-tailed joey bird feather. So... We thought you might like it to decorate your hat. Can we have the egg? Oh, yes. The feather is a perfect accessory for my hat, mon chapeau. Mon you chapeau. Can keep that roly-poly egg. Thank you. It's very good for cuddling with, I, I guess. Voila! It's a magnifique. Magnifique. All right, move it on. Move it on. The the French accent is so much fun to like replicate. You know, it's so much fun to uh, to uh, to say those words. I don't know. Accents in general, right? This I don't know. should make that blue-tailed joey bird happier than that golden white one. Oh no, that is solid gold over there. But I guess a bird and an egg, huh? <laughs> there we go. No, Freddy. Golden pipe. We did it, Freddy. We did it. all three golden pipes. And it's only been 35 Let's minutes. See if old Soggy can pick up the bad guy then. Oh, I guess, yeah, there is like this final section, so, uh. Hey. There you go, boy. He knows! The nose on, knows! Luther. We've got a bad guy to catch. Gotta go fast, gotta go fast! Hey look, 
like an Aztec temple. Or a Mayan, or, or an Inca, or something. What a giant jewel. Quick, after them! <laughs> no, Luther, no, not the gem! A jewel! I'm gonna be rich, rich, rich! Although, honestly, same. Honestly, same. A fish after my own heart. Uh-oh. Hey, what happened? Well, I, I saw this jewel, and, and then I took it out, and the door closed, and I don't... Just... Put the jewel back, Lover. No! You can't make me! You can't make me! Oh, no, he's in jail, Oops. too. Don't worry. He's in Don't horny jail! Get you out so you can put the jewel back, and we can catch that thief. Okay. <laughs> woof, woof, woof. Old Soggy, you go on ahead and track that shell thief. We'll meet you back at the center of town as soon as we can. It kind of bothers me how slow they talk. I know it's because it's a kid's game, but like, oi. <laughs> it kind of drives me up the wall. I remember this too. I remember this temple. Uh, the, these colors, I remember they were important for some reason. But, like, those ones would change. Blue, red, green. Um, Alright, do we need to get a blue, red, and green one for all of these things? Or could I have stolen the gem? You know what? Can I take it? Ooh, that's a gorgeous shade of red. Indeed. I hope this doesn't set off another trap. But I've got to try everything to get Luther out. But I've got to try <gasps> everything. Uh, get it, get it. <sighs> this red crystal could really come in handy if I... Okay, break it loose. Got it. I got it. We, we gotta find something to break, break, break it loose. Nothing. Unless there's... Nope, nothing over there. Interesting how it shows you where you gotta go, though, for... There's the blue one. I do kind of remember this. There's, like, a chisel somewhere that you gotta get. What's this thing? Right? Hey, speak of the chisel. It's a chisel. I should hold on to that. Speak it of the devil. Handy. Get it, get it, get it. Grab it, grab it. Hello, hello, welcome on in, Sour Apple. How you doing today? Glad to see you. Thanks for stopping on by. We're just about done with the first game of the stream, so, uh, a chisel yeah. Could loosen that crystal. <laughs> These games are extremely short, and I forgot about that, this but beautiful red crystal sure I was planning for today. Yeah, I only plan on doing two of these streams today. All right, one stream and uh, two, two of these games. Come in very handy indeed. Very handy indeed, Freddy Fish. Wait, do you remember these games? Like, hey, the crystal grew back. Throw infinite money glitch, let's go. But, uh, yeah, I remember playing these games way back, but, like, as soon as I had, like, control of my hands, once I was old enough to actually hold things in my hand and, like, mentally make note that, like, move finger, hold control, hold mouse, click, as soon as I understood all of that, I, I was, these were the first wow, games I ever played. So I've been going down these, like, crystal. nostalgia, like, like, avenue. It's been great. It's been fun. Although, yeah, these games definitely don't hold up as well. What's up, May? How you doing today? Glad to see you. Thanks for stopping on by. And yes, Happy New Year, Apple. Happy New Year, everyone. Everybody that I didn't get to see yesterday. And also, just Happy New Year to everybody again. I was too old when these came out, so I watched my sister play one or two of these. Yeah. These, I was, like, uh, yesterday, we played Pajama Sam. And that game came out the year I was born. 1996. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for ever since I was like two years old and when I like I played all of these these were like, like a lot of things were part of my childhood, but these were like Toddlerhood these were my like toddler years that I was playing This crystal sure gives off a lot of green light. Yeah, give me give me this stuff. Give me this stuff But yeah, how's everybody doing? How's your New Year's been going? That Hopefully it's been going well very handy. very handy indeed it, it seems like a, a lot of us are uh, starting the new year off with like old stuff, because um, like we got uh, me right. I'm playing. Ooh, that's what I need. I need that key. I need one of these things. I don't know which one. I mean, it's kind of red, so red again. This crystal looks like Maybe. it will fit. You're you're younger than my sister. Interesting. Hey yo. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. Always been a. 
a 96 boy. A 96. Use my laptop for the stream that I'm watching on. I never play the classic games. Yeah, if you haven't, if you weren't uh, a child in the 90s, I don't know if you ever would have played these. Oh, I see what's going on with that. Yippee! I got it. You had to keep the light on. Okay, so I didn't need all these crystals, but I got a bunch of crystals now, which is a good thing. She's taken. Aww. Oh well. <laughs> Better luck next time. <laughs> Sorry, Apple Sister is the same age as my brother. Nice, nice. Then your brother is uh, one year older than I am as well. Nice, nice. Let's do uh, classic rock with my dad. Nice, always a good thing. My mom was always the more of the classic rock person in my family. Luther! Luther! Let's put that jewel back. Yeah, my dad's never been all that much into music, so uh, he's gotten more into music ever since my mom came into his life. But uh, yeah, I definitely got my Look, Luther, the musical like tendencies from my mom. <gasps> oh! Looks like we can solve this case. He's got. Come on. He's got personal things in his bag that'll it's alert who is. Unbelievable. The letdown of a lifetime. This is more disappointing than when the Plankton Circus came to town. But they Plankton. Pasha. Yeah, was in charge. This would never have happened. It's all Uncle Plenty's fault. I'm gonna give that bomb a piece of my mind. Go give him a piece of my mind. I also don't like how everyone says Stop. uncle. Stop uncle right there. Is innocent. <gasps> no Let's way. See. Drop this bag. When we looked inside, we found bread and a sewing needle. Oh my god. Which means the thief is... Who would it be? Who would it be? Who would be the, the, the one that, that has sewing needles? I mean, I'm gonna guess Pierre, Based right? Based on what we found in the bag, I think... I mean, he's the tailor, so... Uh... Pierre! Yeah! You're the thief! You're the thief. Ridiculous! That could have been anybody's thread on sewing needle in that bag. I mean, it could have been. You have nothing on me. Oh la la! Oh la uh, la! <sighs> but also, the dog's got All your right. scent. Uh, maybe you do have something on me. Something. The great conch is the ultimate expression of exquisitely good taste. Mm. It would have made mm. the ultimate accessory for my latest and greatest fashion creation. The great conch isn't just an ornament. It's an important part of life under the sea. I think all Freddy Fish has got, being got her little uh, you do doesn't give fins all right curled up like, Yeah, I'm about to beat you up. No matter how I'm buff. You look at it, still I'm flexing. I feel smaller than the krill. To jail with you. I am a sorry needlefish. I return to you, the great conch. Uncle Blenny, we're sorry we blamed you. That's okay. I'm still the, the first grand time I went through jail. Of the conch, thanks to Freddy and Luther. Oh, and old Charlie. Gosh, what can I ever do to thank you? Just do your duty, oh grand exalted keeper of the conch. He did it. He blew the conch. Magical conch, let's go. Pierre was convicted of breaking penal code 919 for only thinking of himself. Mm. As punishment, Pierre was sentenced to 4,284 hours of public service, sewing hand puppets for underprivileged humpback whales. That's Case a lot closed. of hours. Case closed. Bad. Like depending on whenever you load this game up, there's a there's a possibility that any of those characters could have been the, the thief. So yeah, it did have a lot of replayability whenever I was a kid. Not so much nowadays, because I mean, <laughs> oi. But, uh, hey, we did it. In like 45 minutes, we've beat a game. These games are stupidly short. Like, oh my god. That's why I got two of them. And today's stream might be short because of that. I don't plan on doing the Spy Fox Atari? Wait, hold up. But... What? <laughs> huh? Atari, really? All right, then sure. But uh, yeah, we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do Spy Fox next, and then we're gonna call stream. Which I don't know how long that was gonna take, cause like Pajama Sam took like an hour and a half to beat, and then uh, all the putt putts, this Freddy Fish, they've all taken 30 minutes or 45 minutes, something like that. So 
yeah. Wow, that tone shift, <laughs> right? <laughs> just just kind of like record scratch. And like, all right, we're totally just going with this now. Very easy to uh, swap up the mentality. Also, like you see in the background that one blue fish is like patting Pierre on the back. All right, well, whatever. Whatever. Uh, I forget which game it was, but there was one scene my sister played that's that stays with me to this very day. Oh, if you explain, I might be able to tell you what it is. Cause yeah, I've played a lot of these games. I've played a lot of. I think I might have played all of them. I definitely play, played most of them, if nothing else. This is in all kinds of music. The most relaxing calm music is instrumental. Prefer to play word search because I love the games relaxing to me. Nice, May. Not big on word search games, but you know, they're an okay way to pass the time if you're like waiting at the doctor's office or whatever. Well, I guess I was back before there was phones. Nowadays, I would just look at my phone. <laughs> uh, but yeah, instrumentals are good, too. I do enjoy instrumentals. 45 minutes flat, yeah. Yeah, we beat this game with uh, all the time to spare. Which is why we're going into Spy Fox. Are they, uh, these credits still rolling? It's just, just one at a time, so, uh... So, yeah. This is this thing. You know what? That coffee drink. Co coffee time. Coffee time. Yeah. Like I want to let the credits roll out, but at the same time, I just kind of want to hit stop and continue on with my life. Also, it'd be hilarious if these were like, like re-scrolling through. But I don't know if they are or not. Cause I like to let the credits roll, but at the same time, yeah. Like, come on. <laughs> Come on, are you telling me there really was this many people uh, making this game? I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. I guess we'll let the the, the minute hand roll over and then I'll uh, skip over to the next one. But yeah, Spy Fox, that one I liked way more. I remember like that one was actually very like very good. Or at least from, from what I remember of the game. I might not like it as much nowadays considering yeah, I'm not I'm not a toddler anymore. <laughs> I am Many decades past being a toddler. And by many, I mean two. But yeah, you end up going into a movie theater and there's an ad for fruit snacks or something that's going to check out these amazing flavors. Grape, orange, watermelon, banana, red, and peach or something. <laughs> these amazing flavors. Red. <laughs> um, Movie theater. Red just being a flavor always got me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it could have been in this because there was that little scene where we saw... Uh, we started going to that one theater. The, 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 like, stand-up theater. It wasn't like a movie theater. I don't know, it might have been, it might have been in that. If it was the, the, the Freddy Fish one. The Freddy Fish games. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Alright, the, the minute the hands rolled over, so, you know what? I'm just gonna, just, I'm just gonna press the button. I, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that, like, that, that's the majority. Are you all done playing with us? Yes, I am. See ya real soon. And by that I mean never. <laughs> Alright, but yeah, let's go over to Spy Fox Dry Cereal now, which... This one has I, one of one part of my brain. I got one part of my brain that this game just stays in rent-free. And uh, I, I can't wait to show it. It's not a lot, it's not fancy, it's not crazy or anything, but... <laughs> there's one thing that just stays in my brain. What? How am I supposed to eat my cereal though without any milk? <laughs> and eating Got cereal the correct milk? way. Not anymore. Everything is going. Put the cereal in the bowl first, and that. then the milk. Soon the entire world will be without dairy milk. No butter on toast. No ice cream. No cheddar cheese, and nothing dry cereal. Dry nothing cereal. Nothing can stop me now. <laughs> yeah, this is basically like a furry James Bond. That's basically what Spy Fox is. And I don't know, the, the, the whole like spy uh, ideology about it, that was really cool. I like that one. Somewhere over the Mediterranean Sea. Somewhere over the Mediterranean Sea. I, I don't even have to voice act it. It's fine. Would you like our Italian entree, sir? No thanks. It gives me hives. Our vegetarian dinner, then? Nope. Gives me the vapors. Then may I recommend the Greek plate? It's delicious. All right, if you insist. Enjoy. Can't wait to start eating. 
Oh, God. It's good to see you, Agent Fox. Ha! Ah, monkey Penny. Now this is a real TV dinner. Right. Bah. Yesterday, our spy operatives discovered the factories and offices of Amalgamated Moo Juice Incorporated abandoned and drained Amalgamated. Milk. Soon That's the a big entire word. world's remaining milk reserves will be depleted. The idea of eating dry breakfast cereal is pretty hard to swallow. Nah. Yes, it is. Ha. Here's the ha. only clue we have. Feta cheese. A the low worst grade kind too. of cheese. Spy operatives took that picture in the office of Mr. Howard Hugh Heffer Utterly III. <laughs> President and CEO of Amalgamated Moo Juice Incorporated. Exactly. We presume he has valuable information on the dairy crisis. The only available picture of him is hidden in your mashed potatoes. Finding Utterly is your top priority. He shouldn't be hard to spot. The <laughs> feta cheese samples but. found in Utterly's office have been traced back to the island of Acidophilus. Your plane Acidophilus. will be flying over the island any minute now. I've already set up the mobile command center where you'll rendezvous with me and later on with Quack. The entrance code is in your fortune cookie. Any questions? No, I'm on my way. Good. Monkey Penny, out. Just like that. <laughs> like I was never even there to begin with. But yeah, I don't know. It's something about this whole like action movie-esque uh, and like spy agent stuff. It's good stuff. I, I, I like this a lot. Oh no, the puns, right? Maybe one of my special spy gadgets will help me. Hmm. I wonder which one I should pick. All right, which one should I pick, guys? Wh which one should I pick? One, one, two, three, or four? I'll, I'll go with that. We, we got, we got four concurrent viewers, so maybe I'm thinking four. I'm thinking maybe I four. I should probably pick a pen soon. Okay, uh, I guess we'll just pick number four then. Hmm. <laughs> sure, sure. Yeah, I like how this guy just never cared. If you thought that was impressive, you should have seen the one that got away. I guess so. Hmm. So this is the sleepy little Greek island of Acidophilus. Acidophilus. I seem to have arrived unfashionably early, since nothing seems to be open. As you I do. should meet up with Monkey Penny at the Mobile Command Center. Mobile Command Center. Yeah. Remember that place? Gives me these Sly Cooper vibes. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can see it. I can see it. All right, what? Uh... Five 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 four zero two three. How fortunate that Monkey Penny gave me this entrance code. All right, forty twenty three. Probably gotta go in here, so. Uh, 4023. Remember when phone call, when, when phone numbers. Hello, Bicor Mobile Command Center. As you Penny, said. I've got your number. I remember when, uh, when, when phone numbers, you only had, like, the, uh, they only had seven. Like, nowadays you have to put in, like, the regional code as well. I remember when that now changed that's over. A person to person phone call. That's like an Glad old thing in, now. Oh my god. Hello, Monkey. That's Monkey Penny. So what do you think of Skycorp's new Greek Island Mobile Command Center? Impressive. Swanky. Disguising it as a half-buried boat in the middle of the town square was a stroke of genius. Nobody would ever notice that. Exactly. That was Professor Quack's idea. Where is Quack? Oh, he'll be here soon to refill the Spy Gadget vending machine. In the meantime, he sent a couple of things ahead for your mission. Good. Because a spy without a gadget is like a shopping cart without a broken wheel. So most How of apt. them. Now pay attention. This is Greek money. It's called drachmas. You may need to buy a few things around here on the island. Beep, beep, bop, boop, beep, beep, bop, and this is a... A toothbrush. And I sure could use one after that airplane meal. Don't put that in your mouth. <laughs> not a regular toothbrush. There it's is some good coloring in this game, laser actually. Toothbrush. I'm kind of enjoying Let me show it. You how it works. You hold the laser toothbrush, apply the minty fresh laser gel, push the button, then you can use it to cut through really thick steel. Hmm. I guess that's one way to fight cavities. Right. So do we have any idea where Mr. Utterly is being held? No solid evidence yet. What a wise ass, might this guy. Check out that feta factory down by the docks. The feta factory? Oh, God. I thought I smelled something suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember this thing as well. Uh, yeah, freaking Spy Fox was so good. I actually really, really like this one. Like, even now, I'm, I'm just like, I'm, I'm, I'm real happy playing this. I sure wish Quack would get here so I could get some more of those nifty spy gadgets. Yeah, you, there's like this thing, a, it's a vending machine, and it's like on this little blue terminal that has what you're going to be getting. You can select between them, but uh, not just yet. Not just yet. Yeah, I remember playing these Spy Fox games, probably the most. 
They're probably the most played ones. Oh. My spy watch is beeping. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Bro, this is so nostalgic. Spy Fox here. Wow. Hi, Spy Fox. Remember, you can call me via your spy but we watch. We got an eye watch. Help and information. Just press the mobile command button. Will do. Spy Fox out. Spy Fox out. Uh, but if memory serves, there's also uh, the fun. fun. It's happy fun sub. A little break from the spy biz might do me some good. Remember, I played this quite a bit. I forget what it is exactly, but. Oh, it's literally just one of these type of games where you have the you just a little summary and all the all the uh, things coming after you. I don't know why I played this so much, but I remember I did. I think it's just because I played. Oh, I don't think I need to go over that way. Okay, mountain up there. All right, all right, gotcha. Naruhoto understood. Can I? Yeah, stop, 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 stop. I don't want to play that anymore. But I remember I did put a lot of time into that one. Put a lot of time into that. SWJ. I don't know who that is, but all right. All right, this dude. He sells hey, something. Oh. Want to see my tattoo? Want to see my tattoo? Your mother must be so proud. If you keep talking to this guy, I think he has a different tattoo as well. Yeah. What else you got? All right. Well, what else you got? <laughs> Flexing his pecs. It would be hilarious if this is where my love of tattoos came from. It probably is like one of the first times that I've seen like tattoos in media. Probably would have been actually. Trinkets. Looks like it's closed. I guess so, huh? Now right, what do we got up in this building then? Oh, the group cantina. Happy hour, six to eight. Not five? Weird, but all right. The door's locked. Guess it's not time for happy hour just yet. I guess the cantina doesn't serve breakfast. Well. Well, no, no, well. Up we go. We got here. The door's locked. Understood. Nowhere's open yet. Got it. All right, but yeah, this ship, I remember this one right here. There's like a whole like party going on up there, but we can't quite go there yet. Yeah. Nog! The Feta Factory. What's this thing? Alright then. That's what that that's what that is, I guess. Uh-oh. Normally I would karate chop my way right through a door. But this one seems to be made of solid steel. Solid steel. Here's where I keep my spy gadgets. Spy gadgets. Well, let's melt the door down then. That is a lot of freaking toothpaste. Pew! Snap and crackle. The laser toothbrush makes impervious steel doors pervious. Nice. And it's the exact uh, silhouette of him. I wonder who's going through this door. I don't know. Look at that. That looks familiar. Now that's a big side of beef. No buts about it. That's <laughs> Mr. Utterly, all right. And he's dangling over a pool of piranha. Now the question is, how am I going to get his rump roast down from there? Well, so think about this. If you turn the heat up on this thing, these piranhas will get really, like, slow and tired. But what you want to hmm. do... This must be the temperature control for this pool of piranhas. Uh, just kind of an it. odd fixture for a feta cheese factory. Yeah, you know, that's, that is true. The piranha pool seems yeah. to be getting colder. But yeah, you, you just keep pressing this button. The little <laughs> it, it gets a little cold now. And uh, one more it should be frozen solid. Hmm. Yeah. Fish on ice. That should hold them. Now for Mr. Utterly. You can also like, melt them, but it doesn't really do anything. They just start to go like, Oh, it's so hot. I get down here, cow. He got a spoon. <laughs> I'm actually really enjoying this one. You saved me. Thank you, Mr. Um, Fox. 
spy. Bot. He said the thing. Routine rescue, really? Now I need to get you to our mobile command center for a debriefing. Good. I need to change my pants. Thought on. <laughs> you got to stop him, Mr. Fox. All right, just calm down, Mr. Utterly. Why don't you start from the beginning and tell us what happened? Well, it all started as a typical day at the office. When you're as important as I am, you're constantly fielding international cattle calls and reviewing grazing reports. <laughs> yep, you have to stay pretty sharp in the dairy biz. Look at this old, like, 2000s so, when William the Kid animation. I immediately snapped into action. There were dozens of them. I fought them hoof and nail. Pow, 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 I did. My whole body is a weapon. Oh, and yes. suddenly, I smelled something revolting. Could only be one thing. Feta cheese. 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 The cheese. stink was so overwhelming that I nearly passed out. Taking advantage of my momentary asphyxiation, kidnappers jumped me and then forced me into a smelly dark bag. They whisked me away to Kid Secret Island Fortress. <laughs> it was just so humiliating being bagged up like a, like a piece of beef. But were you able to learn anything about what William the Kid is up to? Sounds like pretty well, damning evidence, though, huh? Fine ingenuity in my part, I picked a few things up. Kid's demented scheme for gaining worldwide domination is run by a front company called Nectar of the Goats Corporation. <laughs> he has a five-part master plan. First, capture all the dairy cows in the world. As you know, he's already done that. Second, he built that milky weapon of destruction inside his secret fortress. Third, use this milky weapon of destruction to flood the capital with none too fresh dairy milk. Fourth, frame all the poor dairy cows for this heinous crime. Fifth, take over the entire dairy world. Hi, Fox. Someone needs to find that secret. I do want to try goat milk though. That milky weapon of I really like goat cheese, so. I don't know. Hmm. I'm kind of interested. That's challenging. I need to find that secret fortress and disarm that milky weapon of destruction. Oh, I almost this forgot. This is kind of like when uh, the kid's back was turned, Metal Gear Solid as well, ain't it? I the that turns the milky weapon of destruction off. Good going. Where is it? Uh, well, I had to swallow the code before I could read it so it wouldn't be discovered. Can you believe it? I can't. I find the whole thing a little hard to swallow. But we need to figure out a way to get a look at that code. Someone needs to find that oh. secret fortress and stop William the Kid. Well, isn't that convenient? Quack is back. What's up, Quack? How you doing? Good morning, Spy Fox. I took the liberty of loading the vending machine with some of my ingenious new spy gadgets. You should take a look at some of them, Spy Fox. They may come in handy. Yeah, like this x-ray gum right here. That sounds pretty useful. X-ray gum. How does this work, Professor Quack? Oh, that's my new and improved beef flavor x-ray gum. Beef flavored? I'll explain how it works. You take a stick out, put it up against something beefy, move it around, and then you can see the yucky stuff inside. But only the something beefy, huh? Is, when you are done, you can chew the gum. It actually has a very refreshing beefy flavor. You refreshing know, beefy flavor, huh? Prefer x-ray gum for their patients who need x-ray. <laughs> A duck needs his fiber. I guess so. I give it to me. That's the X-ray gum. Gimme, gimme, gimme. So we got a beefy bovine over there that needs some uh, some X-ray to be done. We need those numbers. We need those numbers. Gimme, gimme, gimme. What do you got? Now, if you don't mind, Mr. Utterly, I'm going to need to use this X-ray gum to take a look at those four stomachs of yours. Blink. This isn't going to hurt, is it? Because I get kind of dizzy when I think about pain. In fact, just saying the word pain makes me want to... Oh. A heart of stone, this guy. Professor Quack, your x-ray gum works perfectly. I can see everything inside Mr. Utterly's gut. So I need a key that looks like an F. And then there's that whole thing. To stop the bombs from going off. Do I actually need to like remember this? Note. All right, now I need to find out where that key is. Then use it to disarm the milky weapon of destruction. Why does he have a pencil inside of his stomach? 
Stay gross to cassette player. A freaking wrench. Sloppy Joe. Like it was like how he's just got random things. He's got a clock in there, an apple. Bro. Like this isn't even in your stomach. Why do you got all these things in your Without that key, I won't be able to disarm the milky weapon of destruction. Hopefully, uh if I could find that key, then I'd be making some progress. Yeah, hopefully hopefully I just know that. Hopefully I don't have to really remember all of that. The key I can remember, but everything else was kind of weird. Alright then, what else you got? Well, what else we got here? We got the putty. Okay, yeah. Hit me with the putty. What's in this egg-shaped container, Professor Quack? This is a little gadget I call the spy putty. More blueprints to eat. What you do is open the cute little egg container and spread the putty on whatever you want to make a copy of. Press down and then peel the putty off. You have a perfect copy. Hmm, that looks rather silly. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. You think that the spy putty looks a lot like that silly stuff they sell in Toy Story. Silly putty! What you don't know is that I thought of it first. I'm sure you did. Those duplicitous duplicators stole my idea! How dare they? Alright, we got some... Some spy putty now. Totally serious putty. Got shoes as well. What else do we got in here? We got a coin, suction cup. It's a bunch of things. I can only keep four of these things at a time. Uh, it appears to be a shoe. Yeah, what is, what is this gadget, Professor Quack? Oh, that's the night vision shoe. Ah, one of my most interesting As you do, I guess. Inventions. You know, seeing is through your is through your shoes. If you happen to find yourself in a dark place. All you do is strap the shoe onto your head, and then you can see in the dark. How <laughs> illuminating. Interesting. What's up, Helsky? How are you doing today? Yeah. Glad to and see you. Thanks for stopping on by. Arch support. Oh, excellent arch support? Amazing. You, that's exactly what you need. So how's your Christmas Among Us going today? It's going good. It is going to. It is going good. Hopefully you had a nice Christmas, a, a good New Year's and all that. Yeah, welcome on in, welcome on in. Glad to see you. We're playing some classics to get the uh, the New Year started, because why not? Mmm, it looks like a delicious snack. May I eat this, Professor Quack? I don't know which ones of these that okay, I need, but... Okay, that's the cheese and safe cracker kit. Let's go look at Alma. I probably don't need the uh, gum anymore, though, huh? It will help you to get into almost any safe in the world. I won't explain exactly how it works, because it's very scientific and complicated. Uh, of course. Trust me when I say it works like a charm. And it tastes great in soup. Tastes great in the soup. <laughs> and then a coin. Always you should have a coin Is on hand. Is coin really a spy gadget, Professor Quack? It's a nickel. Ah, that's the spy trap. <laughs> yes, yes, come on. Let me explain how it works. Uh, it looks like an ordinary coin, like you might find in the street. But if you need to trap three or more bad guys, the coin explodes and a net shoots out. It traps the naughty spy enemies. Nice, huh? Heads I win, tails they lose. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Heads I I'm win, going tails to lose they lose. My appetite if I keep this up. <laughs> nice, nice. But yeah, I don't even need the. Uh... The, the putty anymore. So I don't remember that it's like an F key that I need. So can I like put this back? Nothing like recycling. Yeah. Good for the spy business. Good for the environment. Now yeah, remember you can put these things back in here when you no longer need them. Um, the suction things. So wait, I got one thing out of. Yeah, one out of four. So I got the shoe, which I remember this one wasn't useful a lot. Like, I think I've only done this one a couple of times. I remember using the coin a lot. I don't remember the safe like at all. That's one of those spy traps. All right, give me the uh, give, give me the coin. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I remember these things are useful for climbing walls. I may as well take these what things as well. What handsome cufflinks! Are they gadgets as well, Professor Quack? Those are the suction cufflinks. Imagine a suit with cufflinks like that. I am very proud of them. They are tiny suction cups that allow you to climb across non-porous metal surfaces. The perfect fashion accessory for the well-dressed spot. Exactly. All right, sure. Give them to me. Those are the suction cufflinks. They are indeed. All right, come and give it to us. 
So, I don't know exactly what I need, but I feel like these aren't, like, like the, the trap one. Here's where I keep my spy gadget. Probably gonna need to keep all of these on us, but the rest of these, I don't know if they, like, I can probably come back if I need to. So either way, trinkets. Hey, what's up? How you doing? What's up, dude? Welcome to the Trinket Emporium. My name is Gilbert. Hi. How may I be of service to you? Oh, honorable visitor to this, our dear island home. I'm not sure yet. I was just noticing your fine selection of trinkets. I like that Sir, jar of trinkets I you got. I think that you will find we offer much more than mere trinkets. Your we your pride trinkets ourselves in having though. the island's finest selection of rare and hard to find collector items and antiquities. Excellent. One never knows when they will be struck with an unquenchable desire to indulge in a blatant act of bourgeois consumerism. <laughs> Our thoughts exactly, sir. Our thoughts exactly. All right, so time to go to the, the cantina now. Hey, it is. Got some tango music playing over Hi, here. Hi, honey. Welcome to the cantina. I'm Bee Bear. If there's anything I can get you, sugar, like, for example, sugar, you just let me know. Hi, right. yo. Thanks, Bee. What do you, what do you got? What, what, what do you got? So, is the food here any good? Well, between you and me, sweetie, let's just say it's no coincidence that you don't see any rats in this part of town. Nice. Nice, nice. What is this Kung Fu statue? What's the trophy for? That's my cockadoodle food trophy. Cockadoodle food. I took lessons from Master Hong Kong Doodle. At least, until I punched his stuffing out. Nice. Nice, nice. Man, this dude, I remember that's important as so, well. you like playing the tango, do you? Oh, yeah. The tango really swings you crazy, cat. Plus, it's the only sheet music I have. As you do, I guess. Man, this guy. I remember this dude. Greetings. Greetings. Interested in a little game of Go Fish, Mr. Fox. Spy Fox. Hmm. I've been known to play Go Fish from time to time. I'm glad that he just tells and everybody he's a spy. Artemis J. Big Pig. Pleased to make your acquaintance, sir. What do you say we make this game a little more interesting? Would you care to play for some trinkets? I'm trinkets? afraid I don't have anything I would call a trinket. How unfortunate. Why don't you come back when you have some trinkets to play with? Hmm, it makes the game so much more interesting. We gambling. Right, I guess I need some trinkets for that. Monday special purple pink gum goo stuff. All right, cool. All right, well, I can get those trinkets now. Ah, uh, yes. We need an invitation for this guy. But, uh, I don't think we have that just yet. Alright, but you, you got those trinkets right there. So, what's a jar of trinkets going for these days? Uh, normally, sir, there are 20 drachmas, but for you, how about 50? Sounds good to me. <laughs> I'll take it. Normally, they're 20, but for you, 50. I did not catch that one over as a kid. There you go, sir. Alright. Why, thank you. You still got some drachmas. I don't know if that ever runs out, to be honest with you. All right, but yeah, we got uh, this guy. Do you care to play for some trinkets? I just happen to have a whole jar of trinkets. <laughs> Excellent, then. I like a fox who is willing to play for trinkets with a pig who likes to play go fish for trinkets. The Put trinkets. your trinkets on the table, and we'll get started. Hey, this guy has one line that just stays rent-free in my brain. Jar trinkets. So, you like playing for trinkets, eh? All right. I'm game. Here's my trinket. Let's play. That's a lovely trinket you have there, sir. I'll play with this one. A tooth. Yeah, it's literally just go fish. So, uh, yeah, do you, do you got any, uh, you got any kings? I can't remember if it's go fish with four. I probably, I guess so. Got any kings? Go fish, Mr. Fox. You, my friend, need to go fish. Got any fours? Oh. Go fish. How about, uh, how about any, uh, any, uh, any, uh, t uh, uh, queens? Got any queens? Not a one, sir. Go fish. All right, then. I guess I'll go fish, then. Mm. Got any nines? Oh, I do indeed. Got any threes? Nice try, but you need to go fish. Need to go fish. I mean, this was the, the, this line. I remember doing this. It's always in my freaking brain. I keep asking for kings, though. Got any kings? <laughs> Go fish. Because he keeps drawing stuff, so he might get a king. Got any five? Go fish. Nah. Ah, how delightful. Got any jack? Nice try, but you need to go fish. How about some eights? Got any eights? 
Bro, I'm super unlucky right now. Mm, got any ten? Oh, I do indeed. Got any three? Oh. Got any fives? Nope. Go fish. Go fish. I don't think I really need that tooth thing, but eh, you know. How about? Got any aces? No, sir. Go fish. God, what do you have? Got any sixes? No, oh, my sixty-nine got thrown away. Oh no. Got any nine? <laughs> Literally. I guess I shouldn't have ex ex expressed that, huh? Got any fours? Nice try, but you need to go fish. But you need to go fish. My match made in heaven, sir. He's got a match. He's got a match. All right. Um, I don't know what that was, but uh, probably got fours, any then, huh? Sevens. Go fish, Mr. Fox. Right. He's literally got nothing that I've got. Got any jacks? Nope. Go fish. Because how do we have exactly what each other don't have? <laughs> got any aces? Hey! A card. Thank you so much. Thank you so very much. Got any kings? Not a one, sir. Go fish. Like we have exactly the opposite things. Hey, all right, cool. Got any sixes? Go fish. How about the queens? Got any queens? <laughs> go fish. Nah, go fish. I've always ah, been lucky when it comes to go fish. Good for you. I have not been lucky when it comes to go fish. How about twos? Got any twos? A card. Thank you so much. What about eights? Got any eights? Go fish, sir. Well, fine. Well, look at that. Got any fives? Nice try, but you need to go fish. Ah, how delightful. Hmm, got any ten? Go fish. Riveting gameplay, I'm realizing got though. Got any sevens? No, sir. Oh, no come fish. on. Give me those sevens. I know you're holding out. Got any oh. kings? Not my double. Got any fours? Go fish. Imagine if this was like an actual thing there. Like if you go to like a poker. Got uh, any sevens? Not a one, sir. Go fish. You go to like some sort of like like gambling house and you play freaking go Got fish. Ah, oh, not another double. Hmm. Got any ten? Yeah, yeah. There you go. Got any nines? Go fish. Everything else I got the stack, so that's not that's not great. Got any queens? <laughs> go fish. Come on, give me the queens. Got any jacks? Nice he try, really likes but jacks. You need to go fish. But also, he said tens before. Can't I'm good. Oh no. Did he? All oh, right. I don't know what he finished, but got any tens? At least I was able. To... Hey, I'll just take those off your hand. Nice. I love this game. He got a. Uh, 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 he had three of those things. Stole all of those away from him. All right. What about? I. I don't know. I was thinking aces. Got any aces? Goofy. Oh. Box. I, I. I went with my gut. I guess it didn't work out. Got any sixes? Nice try, but you need to go fish. I don't know if this is actually important. Ah, yes. Another one for me, sir. So there's something you can win from this guy, but I don't remember Got what it is. Fours. Nice. Ah, oh, it's only three. Okay. Uh, eights. Got any eights? No, sir. Go fish. Fine. Oh. Got any fives? Nope. Go fish. You're still, though, like exactly opposite from each yeah, other. That makes a set, sir. Not another <laughs> set. I've only got one set. I got so many good things right here. All right, uh, uh, fours. Got any fours? Go fish, sir. Okay, fine. Oh, look at that, another eight. Got any <clears throat> jacks? No, Go fish. I do not. How about aces? Got any aces? Nice, you just drew an ace, I think. I've always been lucky when it comes to go fish. All right, what about some queens? Got any queens? Go fish, Mr. Fox. Come on, give me queens in this, then. Ah. Got any... Sixes? But he knows, uh, nope. we Go know fish. he wants those jacks. I must apologize, sir. I am rather good at this game. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, but I wasn't the same got one. Any jacks? Give me those jacks, I know I'll you got them. take those off your hands. This suits me just fine. It suits me just fine. Got <laughs> any four? No, sir. Oh, no come fish. on. Come on. Give me four. Well, that works too, I guess. That's one set of cards taken care of. Got any sixes? No Go six. Go fish. Mmm, 
queen. Got any queens? <laughs> Go fish. Come on. Well. Got any uh, fours? He's taking all my fours. <laughs> I hope you are not easily discouraged, sir. Very easily discouraged. Got any sixes? Yeah, I just drew it. Yeah, yeah, I did. Ah, uh, how delightful. That gives me a suit, sir. I win. He does. He wins. Mm, can I interest you in another game, Mr. Fox? Let's see what he's got. Another trinket on the table to begin. Let's see what he's got, though, because that wasn't even important to begin with. All right. I have no idea what that is. I don't... Oh, we can talk to him now, though. Now I can talk to Mr. Big Pig about some of the folks I've met on the island. Oh, is that what it was for? Is that what this was for? Now that we've played some of this, we can play this. Well, we don't have anybody that we need to... I right. hate to leave. Gotta go. Nobody that I need to talk to just yet, then. So that's what uh, that guy's all about. All right, what, what, what about up here? Oh, it's still locked? All right. You, anything new? Hey, want to see my tattoo? What do you got this time? Nice. Uh, It says... What about rabbit do? So what's the secret to your business's success? Three things. Three? Location. Mm -hmm. Location. Location. Okay. That's one thing. But he said it three times, so it's it's three things. All right, what, do we, what else do we got? We got this guy that we need a reservation to get up. That's quite a nice little toy boat you got there. Is it yours? Oh, yes, sir. And that is why I'm standing out here at this podium on this filthy, seagull-stained dock talking to a sophisticated wannabe like you. Oh, damn. So it's not your boat. No. It belongs to my boss. Hmm. Well, can I, can I get Pardon in Pardon me, sir, but just where do you think you're going? On board? Sir, you are obviously making a little joke. Obviously. No one but no one is allowed to go on board the SS Deadweight without a gold-edged, wax-sealed, expensively embossed, handwritten invitation. And do you have one of these, sir? Not as such. Then I'm afraid, sir, that you should make like a plane in the Bermuda Triangle and get lost. <laughs> Nice. I can gather information about the deck party with this. All right, works out. Hey, that probably is what I, I probably need to talk to that guy. And now, the uh, we can talk with this dude. Would you place your trinkets on the place table? Place your trinkets we'll on the table. Uh, yeah, whatever. Instead now of playing. I can talk to Mr. Big Pig about some of the folks I've met on the island. What do you got to say about that guy? What do you know about that weasel of a doorman over there at the SS Dead? I was wondering what he was. I guess a weasel. Don't go chasing the waterfalls, little fox. That's Spy Fox. Trot your nosy little self over to the souvenir stand. That rabbit is friendly with the weasel you speak of. Oh. Remember, the walls have ears here on the island of Acidophilus. I respect your advice. Thank you. All right, take my trinket and, uh... I'm going... We're leaving. We're leaving. All right, you. Little rabbit foo-foo. What, uh... What do you got What do you got about this guy? I noticed that there was a party going on down on that big ship at the docks. But I understand you can only go if you were invited. That is true. In fact, I am going as soon as I get off work. Oh, so you got an invitation. I certainly did. It is really a fancy schmancy one, too. Wow. Would you like to look at it? Why, yes. I would love to look at it. Absolutely. I know exactly what I gotta do here. By the way, that is a, a, a nice uh, a nice wheel you've got going on up there. Look at that. My life needs a little direction right now. I think I'll buy that steering wheel. Let me wrap that up for you. Thank you. You ah. see, it's too short. Ah. It's too short to reach that thing. Ah. So you gotta go in here and bring out the silly putty for this, uh... Give it! Thank you. Oh, forget it. Oh, I almost forgot. This is not just the local trinket emporium. It is also this island's maritime museum. Oh. And I'm not allowed to let anyone touch the exhibits. Oh, of course, of course. Well, no worries then. No worries. Because, <laughs> yeah, you can't steal his, because he'll understand that it's gone, right? He keeps an eye on that thing. Try to do a little, a little bit of trickery. Here's where still I keep, keep all my those things. spy gadget. Um, I still have all of those things. I, I, I got two more slots. What, uh, what do we got? We got a safe. Sure. That's the cheese and safe cracker. Cheese and safe cracker. Give me that. And the only thing else, you got the X-ray. I don't need anymore. Yeah, the only the other thing That's I got the is this shoe. shoe. May as well keep it all on me. 
May as well keep it all on me for now. Uh, and the key was an F. So yeah. Alright. Give this guy this again. How many times do I have to tell you? This is a private party, and without an invitation, you are not allowed to go on board. Yeah, speaking of that. A nerve of something. You think they would. Yay! Let me see that. Signed, Russian Blue. Oh, sir. We are ever so honored to have you on board with us today. Uh, of course Please you are. Feel free to come and go as you wish. I Why, always do. Thank you. How gracious of you. <laughs> what a weasel. For I trust real. you will have an enjoyable visit. And if there is I just realized we're not wearing in shoes. which I can kiss up some more, <laughs> sir, I trust you will let me know. But of course. But of course. I should do like this guy's... Uh... Now, this is the deck party. Before I join the festivities, I should let Monkey Penny know I'm here. Spy I like the Fox humor in this game, though. Not center. gonna lie. Please stand by. Please stand by. Hi, Spy Fox. God, that's very nostalgic. I just made it onto the SS Deadweight. I'm going to take a look around. Good. Keep your eyes peeled for clues as to where William the Kid's secret fortress is. If Kid's fortress is so secret, how come we know about it? We're spies, Spy Fox. It's our job to know. And we are good at our jobs. Spy Fox out. I guess that is true, huh? I guess that is true. All right, so about this guy. I remember we can steal the paper. Yeah, now we got extra never music. never involved in a waltz napping before. Yeah, but now uh, down there in that in, the, in that uh, lodge, we can, uh, we can talk to them. But yeah, Russian Blue. Look who it is. Hello. You must be... Russian Blue. Noted socialite and attractive owner of the SS Deadway. My name's Fox. Spy Fox. Just letting her know that would you're you a spy. Would you care to dance, Miss Blue? I would love to, Mr. Fox. But there is only one dance on this planet I will dance to. And that is... The Tango. Ah, there we I have it. I love The Tango. Do you know why I love the tango, Mr. Fox? That funky beat? Because it takes two to tango. Interesting. <laughs> I've never done the math on that. <laughs> nice. I can gather information about Russian Blue with this. I don't think I really need any information about her right now, though. Also, I remember sometimes there was a door in that back. Well, on the hall, but I guess not. Not this time. Uh, but yeah, so... This guy, he's only got tango music. What do we, what do we, we, we trade this? A little bit of waltz for tango? What do you say about that? Hey, what would you think about playing something a little slower for a change? Like I told you, man, I would if I could. So, unless you've got some new sheet music for me, the tango extravaganza continues. Would you trade me some of your tango music for some of this waltz music? Would I? Would I've you? I've been dying for some new tunes. Thanks. No, no, no. Thank you, Mr. Too Cool for a Foxy White Suit Jacket Guy. <laughs> you are beautiful, baby. Don't go changing. Nah. Give this gentle fox a Brussels sprout soda and put it on my tab sweet. You don't have a tab, Johnny. Too bad. <laughs> Play it again, Johnny! Play it again, Johnny! Alright, well. That was great. Fantastic. I wonder if I can buy the one food. I don't know if I need to, though. Yeah, but same thing. This guy is uh, orchestrating the music. But I gotta slip this in real quick. Excuse me, but you're in my way here. Excuse me, I thought I left something here. I was trying to leave something there. Evidently, I gotta do it, like, right now. And this guy is... Yeah. Nice. Hmm. I guess you can teach old dogs new tricks. Look at that. Zitango! The bushy tail she's got. Amazing. Uh... Yeah, so I need to get into that thing some way, somehow. It... Uh, is it something that I need in this? Safe. No, that's fine. That cat certainly knows how to tango, but I've got a few moves she hasn't seen yet. I don't remember what we need for that, though. 
Uh, that's night vision. That's a, a safe crack. That nickel. That's a trap. Here's where I keep my. Yeah. I need to find information about her then. All right, back down to. Uh, back down to here. Talk to our Major regular. On the table, and we'll get started. Our regular uh, info dealer. Now I can talk to Mr. Big Pig about some of the folks I've met on the island. Yeah, like this one. Do you know a Ms. Russian Blue, sir? <laughs> I do. Can you offer any information? Hmm, it depends on your game, little fox. Russian Blue is known to be acquainted with William the Kid. Yes, as in Nectar of the Goats. Nog! I'd love to somehow track the movements of this Russian Blue. I'm sure Monkey Penny could help me out on that. Ah, well, all right then. I'm I guess we need another, uh... Another gadget, then. Another gizmo. Hey, you! Hey, according to Spycore's database, William the Kid has three overdue library books. We've got well, it now! The suspected kid had some latent criminal tendencies. Huh. Didn't really... Oh, wait. Do I gotta, like, bring up the information, then? You, you. Monkey Penny, what can you tell me about this Russian blue I met over on the SS Deadweight? I'm glad you asked. Direct your attention to the screen. Here's what the Spycore database has on it. Name. Russian Blue. Yes, I know she that. She also goes by Ms. Blue, Old Blue, and Kitty Kitty Kitty. Kitty Oct Kitty Kitty! Owner and operator of the SS Deadweight. Head of public relations for NOG. No. associate of William the Kid. And one, Bad Kitty. Hey, Known yo. felonies? Indecent tangoing. <laughs> Acquitted. Dancing with intent to tango? Acquitted. Nice. Jay tangoing. <laughs> Jay Acquitted. tangoing? Nice. Tangoing out of season. Acquitted. What season Comment. is tangoing? Russian Blue is obviously in cahoots with William the Kid. She's not only very dangerous, but she might be the perfect source of information regarding Kid's whereabouts. Interesting. It sounds like I should keep an eye on her. Better still, why don't you slip one of our tracking bugs into her purse? There we, we can go. can trace her movements all over the island. Walter Wireless is ready to go. Hey, Walter. You need Russian Blue followed? Uh, I'm your bug. I I'm this on dude. her like fleas on a dog. Or a cat, as it were. Excellent. Glad to have you aboard, Walt. Hop in. Nice. Now we got Walter. There's a lot of these Spy Fox games. I'm remembering, like, a bunch of the other ones that I've played over the years. And <laughs> there's some really fun ones. Alright, so yeah, same thing. This guy. Now we gotta swap his music around. And then we hit in the tango. One more time. Again! I've got an intent to tango with you, kitty cat. I like her face, though, whenever she hears the tango music. I like it. Okay, but yeah, we got this guy now. We gotta put it in the bag, but we gotta wait until we get over there. Whenever we're, we're the ones dropping down. Ah, I, I think I messed it up. I think I messed up the timing. Alright. Let's try this again. That might be a little too... Excuse me. Yeah, that, that might have been a little too quick. <laughs> Wait a second. Now. Now we can do this. All right. One more time. We got it. I thought that would get him to change his tune. I, I do like how this music keeps changing back and forth, though. Nobody really is minding. Except for Russian Blue. All right. I guess I should do it a little bit earlier than, like, before I do this one. Do the spin. And then, yeah, now. Good job, Walter. Good job. I love to tango, but now I must attend to some important business. Me as well. The divine tango, Miss Blue. Uh, I like how all of her crimes that were tango related. Like, all right then. What's up here? Doesn't seem to be anything too important. I remember this quadrant thing was important at some point in time. Yeah. What the heck is that? Oh, whatever. Uh, go ahead and leave out of there then. Ah, yeah, there we go. I better answer my spy watch. It right. could be about my dry cleaning. I don't we think it's about your dry by. cleaning. I'm just saying. Hello, Monkey Penny. What's up? Spy Fox, one of our informants, Mata Harry, has turned up some vital information Mata you may need Harry. to complete your mission. Rendezvous with her in front of the Nectar of the Goats factory door. I we think. interrupt the program to bring you a special spy report. Let's go to a close-up for this one, Steve. 
This is Walter Wireless, your undercover tracking bug, coming to you live inside the purse of Russian Blue. It's like a jet Just ski. moments ago, Russian Blue ran off her boat, jumped in her sports car, and sped out of the parking lot. Nice. Do you have any idea where she's headed? We are presently speeding down what feels like a winding paved road towards an unknown location. We've just taken a sharp left, now a right. She is driving like a wildcat. I'll bring you more on this breaking story as it... Wait a minute, the car seems to be slowing down. Yes, it's come to a complete stop. I can't tell what's happening yet. Hang on. Oh no, my cover has been compromised. Mayday, mayday. For SpyCore News, this is Walter Wireless signing off. Yeah, maybe you shouldn't have been talking so loud then, huh? I don't remember that guy. Did you that guy see that, Monkey Penny? I sure did. You better see if you can pick up his trail. Professor Quack finished his repairs on your car. Oh, heck yeah. I'll waiting for you in the town square, just behind the mobile command center. You better hurry, Spy Fox. Walt was one of our best field bugs. And don't forget about meeting up with the informant, Mata Harry, by the Feta factory. I'm in there like swimwear. Spy Fox, <laughs> out. In there like swimwear, huh? All right. We're already over here, so I may as well go this way first. Uh, where you at? There you are. The home is where the heart is. But the comb is where the head is. Hello, Agent Fox. What a good code word that Hi, was. Mata Harry. What do you have for me? I intercepted what I'm hop off. Have a good rest of the stream. Ah, I thank your brother, Doom. Password. No worries. Glad to see you, though. No Always glad to have you mean. around. Hopefully, I'm have a good sure rest of your day. Though. Once we finish All this right. game, we're probably going to end stream as well. It goes like this. And by probably, I mean I'm we're definitely going to. <laughs> what a curious phrase. <laughs> nice. I'm sure you'll figure it out, Asian Fox. You always do. Always That's do. True. I do. All right. I got to go chase down another lead. Ta ta. Thanks, Mata. We need more spy a games, though. Like that must be really draining for her. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> dra. Yeah. Huh. But yeah, we need more spy games. I actually really enjoy this. Happy fat boy. That's the, the code. Happy huh? fat boy. The happy fat boy. Couldn't be any more on the nose, could it? <laughs> Alright, but I, either way, we got a car now. Follow the trail Walter left for me on the spy radar. <coughs> ah, sneezing. Alright, up we go. Into our very shoe looking. Uh, yeah. Oh, it even shows you on the little, like, map about, like, which way you gotta go. That's convenient. Yeah, this is one of those time sensitive ones. Uh, all the way over there. Nice. Just drilling through that. You got the TNT and everything over there? Nice. Uh, this way. Yeah, you gotta be kind of quick on that. But see, okay. Just turn into a rocket real quick. Sure, why not? Yeah, you gotta kind of quick on which way you gotta go. Otherwise, you're just gonna keep going straight or forward. Whichever way he wants to go. This way. Jump across over the dam. Submarine time. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I really like the, uh... Spy, like styles about this. All right, all right. You know what? First off, get over here. I remember there's like the My Spies games. Nice Those were fun. Like the My Sims and Spies. That was fun. That was a fun one. I'm right over here, Spy Fox. What's up, Walter? Walter. What happened? Walter. Where did Russian Blue go? Sorry, Spy Fox. My cover was compromised. I thought I was going to get squashed there for a second, but luckily she dropped me and ducked into a secret passageway. I need to bug out of here. She mentioned something about an exterminator, and I don't have my gas mask. Yeah, you'd better get going. Thanks for your help, Walt. My pleasure. Until next time, this is Walter Wireless signing off. And that's the way it is. And yeah, that's the way it is. All right, well, what are we doing with this thing? That's odd. The Greeks didn't use hieroglyphics. Wait a second. I recognize it now. It's the ancient hieroglyphic language of the infamous Minoan Musaka cult. My Musaka hieroglyphic reading is a little rusty, but I know I can figure this out. Uh, of course. This symbol means fat. This must be a part of some sort of secret password or code phrase. You said something about fat boy. What was it? What was the thing? The happy fat boy. All right, happy fat boy. This symbol stands for happy. And then boy, I guess this one. It will be easy to get the skinny on this hieroglyphic. Ah. It means skinny. Well, that did yeah, that didn't work at all. Get rid of that one. Then this one. Then is that boy? 
This symbol means boy. There we go. Happy fat and boy. Looks like this secret passage isn't so secret anymore. Nice. Alright, what do we got? Yeah, now we're getting to the real spy stuff. Okay, these guys. I remember they eat something. What is this? Oh, wait a second. No, no, I remember. So, with this... Here's where I keep my... There's multiple ways to go about this, but I think this is one of them. cufflinks should help me form a closer attachment to this wall. Yeah. Those things are really tiny, actually. Wow. It looks just like a button. Yeah. Okay, but with this, you gotta time it just right. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Then in the middle of these two. Nice. Good timing. Over on the last one, last one. Let's see, this actually gives you quite a lot of timing. Like, it's not... Oh, never mind! <laughs> As I was talking. Bro, reaction time 10 out of 10. William the kid, I'll give him the name of my plumber. Psst. Good. Good, good for you, Fox. Good for you. Spy, Fox. Oh, it's already active. Okay. Up we go, then. And then let's get across. Aw, oh, I can't skip this. Because yeah, that one was really... It's really quick. Don't don't hit me. Don't hit me. Nice. Perfect. I'll leave my section cufflinks here in case I need to make a fast getaway later. Sure, why not? That checks out. Yeah, I think I have all the items except for that one gum stuff. Yeah, we're getting I real close. Let Monkey Penny know I made it inside Kid's Secret Fortress. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please Mobile. Stand by. Spy Fox? I'm glad you checked in. How's it going? Smooth. As smooth as sandpaper underpants. Awesome. Very smooth. I just kid's secret fortress. Excellent. Now you've got to disarm that milky weapon of destruction. I'm in there like swimwear. Spy Fox, out. Is that his, is that his cuts, is, is that his, uh, his, his catchphrase? Oh, that looks important up there. <laughs> Look at himself in the mirror. Interesting. This looks like some sort of locker room for kids' evil minions. Yeah, that looks important up there, though. I wonder what this diagram is for. It looks strangely significant. Right. Okay, so... Right, lefts, and then ups. Alright. I think there's... Okay, this goes back to... Yeah, if you go through this one, it goes back to the... Uh, it's a the secret town. passageway. So we don't gotta worry... If, if you don't have any of your spy gadgets and gizmos, you just go here to get through. What a clever secret entrance. Yeah. William the Kid can go from the town square to his secret fortress anytime he wants. Levers are for the ship? Not for the ship, because I think I we're past the ship now. I better leave this door unlocked, in case I need to get back in here later. Exactly. Now we got this door unlocked. But yeah, on the ship, that was, uh, we're not doing that one this time around, considering we, we got a different seed. But yeah, because I think one of the things, it's either his secret fortress is out in the middle of the ocean, or it's... Uh, out there in those ruins. These lights, though, I remember them being important as well. Maybe I'm mistaken about that, though. Yeah, I need to remember right, left, and then up. Uh, is there anything else in here? A yellow jumpsuit. Yeah. I'll bet this is the official Nectar of the Goats uniform. Need to wear that to be no undercover. No one me in one of these. Yeah, totally not. Yeah, change your clothes, and then nobody will recognize you any other way. Everybody's got Pride Pack and Ozia. Of course. This Nectar of the Goats jumpsuit might be just the thing I need to get the jump on William the Kid. Get on the jump. All right. Yeah, now this thing, it's a, it's a scanner, right? Yeah. Uh-oh. Well, someone's coming. Didn't do anything. I better hide. I better hide. In the boxes. Russian blue. Oy vey. Hey, look, there's those switches over there. So that's the dastardly William the Kid that everyone's so worked up about. Russian blue. I like how he's always got a smile on his face. And put it back where it belongs. It contains the disarm key. The only thing that can stop my milky weapon of destruction. Isn't that convenient? Right away, your Imperial goat me. I've deposited the money in your bank account. Thanks for all your help. It's a pleasure doing business with you. Call me anytime. And remember, it takes two to tango. I need to get my hands on that key he mentioned. Alright, gotta follow her then. 
Uh, but before that, I want to set this, this right. Looks exactly like that diagram over. Yeah, yeah, it does. All right, so it was this way, this way, this way, this way. I remembered things. Yeah, so now I can go up here to this thing. But first up, I want to see what we got going on in here. Okay, so yeah. This must be where William the Kid keeps his controls for the milky weapon of destruction. I should let Monkey Penny know I've made it here. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please this was the code by. that we saw inside that one dude. Spy Fox, good to hear from you. What's up? There's actually a lot I'm of remembering in this the game. Kid's control room. The launching panel for the milky weapon of destruction is right here. Great. Now, all you have to do is find the missing key and disarm that milky weapon of destruction. Right. That shouldn't be too difficult. Spy Fox out. Yeah. We need the, the F key, and then I hope all this is th the same. I can't remember... I need to get that key in this right. control panel in order to disarm Kid's milky weapon of destruction. It looks like it probably is all I need. That, uh, that F key is probably all I need. Alright, where is the lady at, though? Maybe she's up here. I don't actually know which way she went. Go up. Up the conveyor belt. What a convenient way. What a convenient escalator. A very convenient escalator. Around. That must be some sort of tram to take people around in Kid's Fortress. Go. No, go. Yeah, there's a lot of different ways you can go about this. Oh yeah, there's all these dudes. All three of them. But hey, that's three of them. And remember what this thing said? If you need to deal with three enemies or more, throw a nickel there's in there. one sound the ear can hear better than any other. The sound of falling money. They should get a tickle from this nickel. Ah. A nickel hasn't been this useful in so long. <laughs> that tail. Skyda, what's up, Ryder? How you doing today? Glad to see you. Thanks for stopping on by. We playing some games from my, like, toddler years. <laughs> played some freaking Pajama Sam. Played some Putt-Putt. Uh, then today we played some Freddy Fish and now some Spy Fox. And man, I forgot how much I really loved Spy Fox. These games were actually a lot of fun. <laughs> and the humor is actually not terrible. I'm off today, so I need to check in on you. Hey, nice. Glad to have you. Hopefully today wasn't, uh, well, I mean, yet off, so, I mean, it wasn't bad at all, huh? He tricked us! This isn't good at all! You fell for the old nickel trick! Sorry, folks. I'm on a mission. Yeah, moving on. Moving on. Hey, we're just about done with this game already. <laughs> oh, this must be Kid's Secret Volcano Because these games are not I long should at take all. a look around. Oh, this one's already been like an hour, so this one's definitely longer than, uh, the freaking Freddy Fish ones were. I don't think there's any reason to do this. I think this is just, you can just draw if you want to. You can draw if you want to. You can leave it all behind. Alright, we need this thing. Is there a... The key oh, I, I see. Is protected by these dangerous lasers. Super dangerous. Let's see. The red laser connects with the red socket, and the blue laser connects to the blue socket. Yes, thank I wonder you. if moving these mirrors will redirect the lasers. Uh, that would make sense, wouldn't it? Okay, well, can I replace this one with this one? The blue laser isn't right. Oh, it has to go from blue to blue, huh? Can I just do like this, then? I hey, look at that. that key if that red laser wouldn't burn a hole in my hand. Yes, yes, I hear you. I hear you. Right, this one, this one, then. That did the trick. Now I can grab the key wallet. Bro, imagine, like, having all of, like, imagine playing, like, Resident Evil. You would have to find these keys somewhere to, like, move all the stuff around. But, you know, I kids' it. games, so I it's totally different. Now I Might need to level up to a dull point in click games. <laughs> milky weapon of destruction. Maybe. Maybe. I do enjoy, like, these point and click games, not gonna lie. Like, the, uh, the Leisure Suit Larry games. They're a lot of fun because of... They have such a dumb sense of humor to them, and, uh, and I do enjoy point and click. Like, these are the games that I, I literally grew up playing as, as a wee a wee toddler. So yeah, it would be fun, but at the same time, I don't know how YouTube would really like me playing those type of games, you know? <laughs> you can probably find some Achieve Newgrounds Flash games or some archived ones. Yeah, it may be. Maybe I could. Maybe something to look into. There's all sorts of things to do, have. This billboard, if memory serves, there's a, uh, there's, there's a secret entrance here, but I don't think we can deal with that yet. I've talked about this before, though, like, 
I really, really like goat cheese. Like, it's super good. It is super freaking good. And so, uh... I wonder how goat milk would taste. Like, I'm not exactly against the whole story of this. Uh, Ex Mortis was my shit back in the day. I don't know if I... Uh, yeah, I don't think I've ever heard of that game. I have to look into it some point in time. But yeah, these games were on sale for Christmas, and so I was like, Alright, you know what? I'll, uh, relive my... My, my childhood and, and play these games. But yeah, memory serves. At this point, though, we are we're now at the point where it's the end game, and you can actually fail in these games. You can actually get like a bad end if uh, if you mess up. So yeah, let's just go with it. Let's just roll with it. Now, which key should I use? It was the F key. This one. This one right here. I hope this is the right key. I'm sure it is. Blum, 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 blum. Stop the missile! Stop the missile! We're playing Metal Gear Solid now, baby! You will not be able to milk the capital now! Taylor, we saved the day. That did the trick. Once again, I've saved the world from a horrible, or in this case, smelling fate. Now I need to go get that goat. Yeah, this is where we can fail. Not so fast. We can let this guy escape, or we can get him. You may think you have outfoxed me by disarming my milky weapon of destruction, but I'm afraid it's too late to save your precious cow. The cows, it's though. Over, Billy. Give yourself up. Don't ever call me Billy. It's William, and it's not over yet, my foxy nemesis. When I pull this lovely lever, mm -hmm. the cow's stables will become completely flooded with milk. And that will be the end of the dairy world as we know it. You should probably go ahead and pull it then, huh? God, it's flooding! It's flooding! That's a lot of milk. That God, I hope it's milk. That's thing I've ever seen. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> you can tell he's evil because he's got terrible teeth. <coughs> Man, this is really rich. Kid, you're kidding yourself if you think I'm going to let you get away with this. It's too late. And now, if you'll excuse me, Mr. Fox, I have a flight to catch on my giant metallic getaway blimp. Where that I seems... will implement my plan to take over the world, filling it with my delicious goat byproducts. I mean, delicious? You must be insane. Maybe I am insane because goat cheese is, is very You're good. You're the crazy one if you think you can save the cows. Adios, Mr. Fox. Ah, uh, yeah. You can see in the background where he was. Finding this secret passageway to the stables. You'll need it. I think, uh, even if I didn't already know, he even got something stuck there. He got his tie stuck in the freaking door. door. Thanks for leaving a little clue, kid. Yeah, right. Now, all I have to do is find that ascot. Oh, it's an ascot. I'm sorry. But yeah, I think this is actually time sensitive. Like, there's no time limit on this, but I'm pretty sure there actually is a uh, a time limit on this. Can I just go to the right, or do I have to go to the? Yeah, I can. Yeah, look at that. I remember the thing. That kid's ascot. This must be the secret passageway to the stable. So many clues though, right? The yeah, the entire background hurry. and then also this thing. It is a kid's game. Oh, this dude. That is one big chicken. That is indeed one big chicken. Well, I don't actually have uh, the kung fu powers. Here's where I keep my... Huh. Interesting. Great wall shine. Okay. Hi. Hello there, puny puppy like creature. I'm the fox, you bag. are probably intimidated by my rippling muscles. A little bit. Do you happen to know the ways of a cockadoodle foo warrior? Cockadoodle foo, you say? It sounds familiar. Huh. Okay, you well. to gather information about cockadoodle foo and that funky chicken. I guess we don't, uh, I, I guess we're not time sensitive right now then. Because, uh, yeah, we gotta go all the way back to the bar now. Uh, this way, this way, this way. Nog. No, that's not the way we need to be going. 
Where's the, uh, where's the secret entrance again? Oh yeah, it was in the locker room. Alright, back this way. Over I've been here. itching to take this jumpsuit off. I think whomever this belonged to had fleas. Sucks to suck. Back in the suit, baby. Yeah, back to this place. And then back down to the cantina. And you. Dude still playing the waltz. B, do you know anything about cockadoodle foo? You got this trophy, well, so uh in a professional career as a cockadoodle foo fighter for a few years. Everything I learned came from a book. A book? Yeah, you can have it if you're interested. It's all too violent for me now. Mm. I've moved to a more spiritual phase of life. Namaste. Namaste. Alright, <laughs> uh, thank you. Well, that was convenient. Thanks, B. You may have just saved the planet from this dairy drought. You're a superstar. You're a superstar, darling. You're a superstar. All right. But yeah, I remember at some point in time, sometimes you do have to get food. Usually. Yeah, we got to get back in our soup. Uh, but yeah, there is, is a, a chance you got to get, like, the food over there. And, like, there's different places you can go. All sorts of stuff. All right. Cockadoodle food time. All right, my little furball. Now try the leaping llama on for size. Leaping llama. This cockadoodle foo book from B should help me defeat that. He's really just waiting chicken. for me. Okay. Really just waiting see. for me. All right. Um. Oh, I wasn't paying attention to his, his form. Uh. Okay. Okay. So if he, his attack. It's something like this, right? So, counterattack with this one. Cockadoodle foo looks like a piece of cake. Now that I see the instruction manual, this fancy counter move should work on my overinflated opponent. All right, Doodle, I'm going to counter that with the Furious Quail. You can't stop the Furious Quail. Hey! I remembered. I wasn't exactly sure about whether or not that was the right move. Or not. What? What happened? Didn't think I could beat you, huh? Well, I'd stay and toy with you longer, but it looks like you're all tied up. Wait a minute! How about two out of three falls? <laughs> no, let's make it best of seven. You can't leave me like this. I can and I will. Cockatoodaloo. Oh my god. Alright, whatever. Whatever, you freaking spy pun. The kidnapped dairy cows. I've found them. <sighs> Hang on, everyone. My name is Spy Fox, and I'll rescue you shortly. Continue treading milk, and I'll be right there. We can just pull the lever. We can just pull the lever. I hereby declare you free-range cow. Okay, this is the point, then. This is the point where it actually gets time-sensitive. Yeah. Drain the milk. Free the cows. And now, uh, that's over there. It's metallic blimp. Why is it metallic? You think you won. Spy Fox, but you're wrong. Go ahead, free the cows this time. But I'll be back to milk the world yet again. Don't praise it like that. That just sounds weird. <laughs> Not so fast, kid. The last thing the world needs is another escaped goat. Exactly. We gotta get in that truck. We gotta go. I wonder if this is a mini game. I think this might be a mini game. Thankfully, the keys were just in there. Yeah. Chasey after him. Think fast, Fox. This road ends just ahead. Oh, I see. Gotta hit that ramp. Gotta hit that ramp, baby. And right there, if you mess that up, it's just game over. This'll eject me right onto Kid's Blimp. Sounds like we want to press uh, that. Yeah. Chase the scene. Go, go! <laughs> now that was an entrance. I'd better check in with Monkey Penny. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please. Yeah, now by. we're in the uh, extra end game. Spy Fox. The true Have end you game. Liam the kid yet? I'm on his escape blimp now. Professor Quack says he can see you on the radar. Spy Fox, you can't let William the kid get away. But what about the sequel? There are other supervillains out there. We'll be fine. <laughs> That's true. What should I do when I nab him? We've already set up a mobile evil villain jail. Monkey Penny, do you have the coordinates for the evil villain jail? Yes. The coordinates are 4 degrees south, 18 degrees east. You need to fly 18, the blimp four. over it. 
I'll transmit the coordinates to the spy watch in case you need to look at them again. Okay, thank now you. I need to maneuver this ghastly blimp. I like how they said that backwards, though. I'll get that dastardly villain. All right, 18 and 4. I gotta remember that. All right, 418. Uh, that works, too. 418. All right, back it up. Back it out and go. Now, so we got this little uh, jet helicopter plane thing. Which I think that's how we make our escape. Oh, look, a tool. Just like me, for real, for real. Nice. An electric screwdriver set. This could come in handy. You never know when you might need to drive some screws somewhere. Exactly. So let's see that bread over there. That loaf of toast right there. Give me. Looks like someone didn't finish their lunch. Well, you never know when you might need a piece of stale rye bread. Exactly. In your point and click adventure games, no rye bread will be left behind. This looks like some sort of conveyance between the front and the back of Kid's blimp. So can we go? If I want to get to the other side of the blimp. Okay, gotta find some other way to go that way. Uh, anything else we got around here? No? All right, what if we take this thing? Take that to the, uh, the the ladder over there. This reminds me of my high flying days, and that looks like the entrance to the front of Kid's overblown blimp. I've got to get over there. I hope this old rust bucket with wings is airworthy. I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. It wouldn't be here otherwise, right? Yeah, look at that. Perfect. Like it was meant to be. It's kind of funny how there's no way to get to the front from the back, though. Besides this. Oh, just grab it. Just grab. Oh God. Uh, there we go. Grab it. Grab the ladder. Grab the ladder. There you go, Fox. There you go. A2 pilot. Oh, autopilot. Nah. There he is. This must be the control room for Kid's diabolical getaway blimp. He's got a whole freaking mini fridge up there. What's, uh, what's this thing? Aha! The ejection seat controls must be here. I can finally throw Kid into evil villain jail. Oh, I see. But first off, we need to get the, uh... What was it, 418? Was, was that the one? I think it was 418. I I, I can check, so. Yeah, 4 South, 18 East. Alright, so this thing right here. A navigation panel. Now I can use the coordinates Monkey Penny sent me via the spy watch to maneuver this dastardly contraption over the evil villain jail. Then I can finally put William the Kid where he belongs. 418. There we go. Now I just need to find a way to get Kid out of this blimp and into Evil Villain Jail. Good thing he's got a, uh, <laughs> a freaking auto uh, eject seat here. Alright, a bunch of T-screws, easy enough. Open it up, baby. T-screws. That did the trick. Hmm, what an interesting device. It's just like the toaster we have back at Spy Corps Cafeteria. Just like it. I like how it's got instructions down there at the bottom too. It's like how to use this device. Put Piece toast of rye in. Bread might do the trick. Put down, and then seat goes up. All right, we've done it. We've done it. My trap is set. I better hurry. Now time to make a scene. Wow. What's going on? The blimp is changing course. Sorry, kid. I have a little errand I need to run. Hmm? What? Spy Fox? I'm really getting tired of your meddling in my very domination. Plan. Don't worry. This is yes, the last well, time. I do have a tendency to show up and ruin evil villains' schemes. I just thought I'd toast your accomplishment before you go. Bye. Go? What do you mean by that? And this is why you don't have AI working all your machinery. Pilot your own ship. Too bad there was only one parachute. Ooh, that looked painful. I'm sure he's fine. I guess Kid will be serving up his goat byproducts in evil villain jail from now on. I would have gotten away with my evil plan if it weren't for that pesky spy fox. Spy fox. Spy Fox! That's my name. You'll pay for this. I'll be back. No jail can hold William the Kid. I don't know about that one. <sighs> Day one.
I mean, he does have a hole in the roof of his place, so I don't know. Later that I want to get that patched out. Walter Wireless here with our Walter top Warner's. story. Spy Fox has saved the dairy starved nations of the world from a near disastrous milk shortage. Today at the Capitol, the president is honoring Spy Fox as the nation's new hero. We now go live to the presidential press room where the ceremony is already in progress. The president's a For cow. He's a bull. and suaveness in the face of utter dairy chaos and for bringing the nefarious William the Kid to justice. I award you, Spy Fox, our nation's highest honor. May I present you with the Big Daddy Congressional Cookie of Justice. A cookie. Why, thank you, Mr. President. It was a routine mission, really. Three cheers for Spy Fox. I've got my cookie. Has anyone got milk? Hey, yo. Anybody got milk? <laughs> All right, though. There we have it. There we have it. My childhood games. The games that I played whenever I was just a, a wee young lad. Whenever I was able to hold on to a controller. Or, or whenever I was able to hold on to a you mouse. Have gotten away with my evil plan. It weren't for that pesky spy box. Yeah, you're right. It's all because of me. It's all because of me. But yeah, this was a nice little trip down memory lane to start the new year off with. I wasn't really planning on doing this one today, but yeah, I was looking at the games that I had left and I was like, all right, you know, we got a Freddy Fish and we've got a, uh, a Spy Fox. I may as well at least hit one of each of these series, right? We did a Pajama Sam, we did some Putt Putt, we did some uh, a Freddy Fish, and then we did a Spy Fox. And the Spy Fox one actually took a decent amount of time. That one took about an hour and a half. It was definitely a little bit longer than the, uh, the Freddy Fish and the, the Putt Putt ones were. But that's good. That's good. So yeah, that's a, a decent, a two-hour stream to to call it for today. Wasn't really planning on doing a stream today, so uh, you know, uh, it being a, a, a two-hour one, that's 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 fine. And like generally, I would be going for longer. I like going until about the four o'clock time, but yeah, since today wasn't even really supposed to be a stream day, it was just something that I wanted to do to finish up, just to, just to round it out. I'm glad though, because I mean, I did really enjoy the Spy Fox one. I remember these games were, like the Pajama Sam, No Need to Hide When It's Dark Outside. I loved that one, I played it a lot. But I think I loved the, uh, the Spy Fox games just a little bit more. I really enjoyed those ones, they were a lot of fun. I really like spy games. And I can't really think of many of them to be honest with you, like we need more of them. I guess you could say that uh, Metal Gear Solid's kinda like that. I wouldn't exactly call Snake or any of those operatives spies, but... I mean, I guess they're agents, right? And that's close enough. That's close enough. Yeah. I need to play more of these type of games. They're actually quite a lot of fun. <laughs> I guess Resident Evil in a way, like Ada Wong, she's a, she's a, an agent. Her section in, like, uh, Resident Evil 6 was fairly spy-esque. Yeah. yeah. Fun little games. Spy Fox in Dry Cereal. I remember a few of them. I remember a few of them. There was, like, one where you was, like in a, a theme park or something like that, and that one was a lot of fun. I remember I played that one a lot. But yeah, yeah, it was a nice little trip down memory lane, a nice way to start the new year off with. But uh, tomorrow we'll be back to business as usual. I'd like to thank the residents of uh, Cityopolis for their kindness and generosity. No animals were mistreated or harmed in any way during the production of Spy Fox in Dry Cereal, although quite a few were milked. Ah, <laughs> uh, nice. But yeah, like, this game actually had, like, a pretty decent sense of humor. And, like, Freddy Fish and Putt Putt in particular, even Pajama Sam to a degree, was very, very kid-friendly, very kid-oriented. But this one seemed to be a little bit more... Like, it was definitely rated G for general audiances, right? R rated, like, E for everyone. I would have gotten away but it was a little bit better. I feel like it was a little bit better with all of the everything else. Bye. Bye, Fox. But, uh, but yeah, we did it. We have done it. Definitely felt like it was a lot better than the, uh, the other ones. It felt more, uh, like, like, I could see this being just a game to play, you know? Like, it's not necessarily aimed for kids. It was aimed for more of the, like, 
the like like the tween almost like just under like a little bit more mature than the other ones still definitely a, a very kid friendly game but a little bit more mature and uh, it it holds up actually kind of fairly well i enjoyed the uh, i enjoyed the puns i enjoyed all the like eye rolling <laughs> moments but yeah, it was good it was a good time also some of those puzzles like you actually had to remember some things and uh yeah yeah, it actually really made you made you use your thinker box there. More than a lot of games do. But yeah, that'll be the end of stream today, and it'll be the end of these humongous games. I made thumbnails for all of them, but I think that'll probably be the last one we actually do. Because, uh, yeah, I really don't want to go through and play any more of the Freddy Fish or the other Pajama Sam games on stream. And we've done everything else, so yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Second day back to streaming, and we've already beat five games. <laughs> Sounds really impressive when you put it like that, though, huh? But yeah, either way, tomorrow, tomorrow is Thursday, same time as always, 12.30 p.m. Eastern. We've got some Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 3, which I can't wait for that. And then on Friday, we've got some Mass Effect 2, which, ooh, can't wait for that either. We're, uh, we're going back to the regularly scheduled uh, streams. But yeah, this was fun. This was a fun little way to start the new year off with. Hopefully you all enjoyed this trip down memory lane as well. But uh, yeah, I'm going to end stream there for now. So thank you all so much for stopping on by. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, all that nonsense. I'm trying to get to 500 subs before uh, July. It's it's January now. It's January 3rd. And uh, before before July 5th, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to get to 500. That's the goal. That is the goal. So, uh... I'd appreciate it if you help me out with that. <laughs> but either way, uh, we're done with stream for today. So uh, thank you for stopping by. Thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, all that nonsense. And we will see you all in the next one, all right? Also, hello, Vard. How you doing? <laughs> Glad to see you. But you all, take care.